the other day I had to figure out aspect ratios for all these different photo sizes. So I'm going to show you what I did. Aspect ratios. Get strong. Get strong. All right, let's talk about aspect ratios. First, I want to introduce myself. I'm Tony Sanchez. I have been a photographer for years, since the time of film, before digital. I shoot video, primarily aerial photo and video, with some FPV sprinkled in. On the web, I'm at pixelbytemedia.com. Uh, on my site, you can check out my work. I have a shop and sign up for my newsletter. On Instagram, I'm at pixelbyte underscore media, at pixelbyte underscore media on Instagram. So ch you can check out my page there. And on Facebook at pixelbyte media FB. Pixelbyte media FB. Go over there and give it a like. I sure would appreciate it. All right, so aspect ratios. What is an aspect ratio? Well, basically, it's a mathematical way of describing how rectangular a rectangle is in terms of its width and height. And so why do we even need to consider aspect ratios? Well, we have square aspect ratios, like on Instagram. We have these long horizontal aspect ratios, like on YouTube. And we have other aspect ratios, like this 3 to 2 aspect ratio. And we have vertical aspect ratios, like say if you're shooting um, a vertical video for Instagram, you know, Instagram TV. And in my case, I use a full frame sensor, so I have to keep this in mind. Do I need to shoot it vertically? Am I going to use a long horizontal? Uh, or am I going to primarily use it as a, a, a square format later? So let me describe aspect ratios it's really pretty simple uh, the calculations aren't too hard but there's an easy way that I'll show you later so basically let's start with this square and we could call this a pixel we could call it a square mile a square foot it doesn't matter so we have one in one unit in width one unit in height and that aspect ratio is one to one and so then in this rectangular aspect ratio let's we have two units wide one unit high so this aspect ratio would be described as two to one now if we flip it 90 degrees right so now we have one in width two in height and this would be described as one to two all right because you always want to go with the width and then the height and it doesn't matter how many squares there are or how many units of measurement there are and in this case I'm using squares but let's say we got two wide two tall so it's two to two but then you want to simplify that and so it would be simplified to one to one and then I'll describe why I needed to figure out how to simplify uh, and come up with all these different aspect ratios this case we have you know three and three so it would be three to three aspect ratio simplified to one to one because you what you want to do is use the greatest common factor in these like the three to three what the greatest common factor is is three so three goes into three one time so that's how we end up with the simplified aspect ratio of one to one and then say like there's a picture right behind this square that we want to use this picture and it's a vertical rectangle but we want to fit it into a square right so we have this square and we have this picture so to get this to fit and this was something that I posted up on Instagram to get this to fit I had to take a little bit off the top and bottom to, and, and to get the right composition so I just took some off the top some off the bottom to get it to fit and make it a square all right so we went from three to two aspect ratio to one to one Right, and I think it worked out pretty fine. Now in this case, we have three wide, right? And two, a three to two aspect ratio, which is roughly the size of like a 35 millimeter camera or a full frame, you know, 
uh, DSLR camera, right? So it's three to two. Now, if we even double it up, right? So we double it up to, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we go tall, two, three, four, four, tall, right? And it's, so its uh, aspect ratio is six to four, but it's actually the same aspect ratio as the previous slide because it simplified then it gets simplified to three to two so the reason this kind of I needed to go all through uh, go through all this and figure out all these aspect ratios is because I had 23 different sized um, prints to print off of one image and I needed to convey how they're going to be cropped so I didn't want to come up with 23 different mock-ups because I didn't have to. Many of them were one-to-one -one aspect ratios. I had some 8x8s, 10x10s, 12x12s. So I just had to create one mock-up for all these different sizes. And that saved a lot of time because then, you know, I didn't like in this case, I didn't have to come up with three. I just had to come up with one or all, all the aspect ratios that were three to two. They're all the same aspect ratio even though there's more, you know, bigger sizes, uh, you know, 12 by 8 is actually smaller, you know, obviously it's smaller than a 36 by 24, but it's the same thing. 3 to 2, 4 to 3, 5 to 4, 6 to 5. So I just grouped all these different sizes by aspect ratio, and then I just had to create one mock-up to upload on my website. All right, so how do you figure out the aspect ratios? Well, you can do the math, right? But there's an easier way. And basically what you want to do is go to this website, right? It's a long URL, so I'll put it in the description. But you go to this website called Calculator Soup, where you just put in the dimensions of your print or, you know, the uh, pixels. Like I said, you could use pixels. You know, both have to be pixels or inches or centimeters. It doesn't matter. In this case, it's 10 inches by 8 inches. So I put that in there, hit calculate, then it gave me an aspect ratio of 5 to 4 without having to sweat the math. Thank you for listening, and hopefully you learned something. I tried to make this as quick as possible without droning on. Hopefully I did not. But you can check out me on the, online at these different sites here. I sure would appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or confusions. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Be strong. Be strong.